Ashe Boru, Ashe Boya, Ashe Bocheche. Welcome to the next part of the series of the mystical life of Oromila and the Orishas. Oromila and Eshwelekba doing a bow to create a covenant. After Oromila and his disciples left the festivity of the marriage between Ogun and Aina, they went to the river and lo and behold, as they arrived in the new territory, they saw Eshuelegwa. Eshuelegwa stated that he missed going to the festivity because there were other problems at hand that he had to resolve. In doing so, Eshuelegwa and Oromila began to converse the mysteries of their past and the mysteries of their riches and the origins of where they came from. Eshu Elewa asked Oromila, Sure, do you know our past and why are we here? Oromila stated, well, But we are incarnations of ancient deities that have existed in ancient Egypt. Many new people have arrived in that land and the deities have reincarnated through their heads, being Nefer, Ifa, also known as Ifa in this land, and known back then as Osiris, has reincarnated as Ifa, and was envied by Set, who envied Ifa because of Ifa's ability to defy all the nations. And Ifa had the knowledge and secrets of agriculture and civilization. Set decided to trick him by cutting him into several pieces and scattering his body throughout the world. Just like the traditional story of Osiris. This is the story of Ifa. In doing so, Aishat was able to reincarnate the essence of Western Osiris by way of a shot named Horus and Horus today has reincarnated in this land as Ogun. I am but a spirit that has been created by Olodumare and I am the representative of Ifa and you are the reincarnation of that. Do not feel bad because of this. We will create a covenant and by doing this a bow we will show our friendship and bond and be known as Elegba, the righteous of our brothers. This is why Eshu Elegba represents polarities and duality. After the Ebus completed and harmony existed among them, that is why millennia later and centuries later, the children of Odomila, being the Babalaos, require the assistance and help of Eshu Elegba at all times. This is why, to this day, the Babalaos are the ones who have the authority and faculty to give Eshu Elegwa to initiates. It has been established since the beginning of time. Ashe Boru, Ashe Boya, Ashe Iboshe